Hi, in this video we want to talk about hyphenation. So hyphenation is when a word is split between two lines like that, intricate, neuroscience and so on. So let's see what tools do we have. I applied for this paragraph a style paragraph, so let's edit. Also you can right click, paragraph, paragraph and you can change that, but I don't have here an apply button, so it's much faster for me to show you everything with styles because I can change and click here apply. So you, uh, in your case, maybe this uh, option is not checked. So if I apply it now, I have no hyphenation because nothing is activated. So if I want hyphenation now, I have to do manually. If I want automatically, we have some options. So let's see each one of them. Let's apply. So let's see. In this case, I have here five letters. Here I have six letters. And on the left, I, in the left margin, I have four. And here I have three, okay, theoretical. If I don't want to have small um, segments of words like that, and I want just for cases where I have um, long expressions, I can increase here the values. So now I, I don't have here with three letters. If I don't want with four letters, I can change at the line beginning to have with five. So now I have with five and six letters, uh, with five everywhere, let's increase to six. Apply. Okay, you see I have six letters. If I increase more to nine, no hyphenation. So you can limit the hyphenation by increasing uh, the characters at line end and line, begin line beginning. Let's uh, reset in order to test uh, next. So in this case, compound characters, uh, this is for uh, Danish, Dutch, German, Hungarian, Norwegian, and Swedish, okay? okay, for compound word instead of breaking the second constituent right after its first two characters. So it's a special case. I will not apply this for uh, English in our case. Maximum consecutive hyphens. Hyphens. So, um, for example, um, let's uh, change the font to be smaller. And here I have hyphenation. In the next line, I have hyphenation, hyphenation, hyphenation. So I have four lines in a row with hyphenation. So if I don't like that, to have every line like that, we can change in uh, text flow maximum consecutive lines to be, in this case with zero, it's not set. So if I have one, one row will be, let's see, one row is hyphenated, the next one is not, the next one is, and so on. If I have two lines, I can have two lines hyphenated, the next one not, and so on. So this is a rule you can apply, maybe one, uh, it's better to not have each line one after another uh, hyphenated. Let's see another rule, minimum word length in characters. For example, if I have a word with four characters and I don't want to split, this is the minimum. Uh, for example, if I have here 16, this word is uh, over that. So in this case, I have no word in paragraph below 19, so nothing is hyphenated. If I have a four, which is the minimum, you can see I have hyphenation here. Hyphenation zone means uh, I don't want hyphenation until the space here um, 
it's above the distance here. So let's see, let's increase to one centimeter. Let's apply. So you can see the space is increasing between words because I, I don't accept hyphenation until the zone is uh, bigger than that. So let's increase. You see, I have no word hyphenated and I have a lot of spaces between words. Let's increase more. Okay, you can see everywhere. I have a lot of spaces uh, there. So if it's minimum, I want small spaces between words. So you can play with that also. Now here, uh, let's suppose I have um, a shortcut, um, a name, an abbreviation for something. So let's play again. What option do we have? Do we accept to hyphenate the words in caps lock? If yes, let's uh, remove something. You can see now UNESCO is uh, hyphenated. If I disable that, these spaces are increased and UNESCO move on the next line. Okay, let's undo. Let's go further. So hyphenate last word. Uh, let's apply and let's remove some part of here. Let's remove until our word is in this case. So let's test now. Uh, let's activate that. So perseverance, it's splitted between, it's the last word and it's splitted, but maybe you don't like to have a full row just for two letters. So in this case, you decide not to hyphenate the last word. So in this case, you will have more space here, but you have a full word here. As you have seen, is not activated until, until this, this one is activated, because what is this doing? Last full line of paragraph to be hyphenated. So I, if I activate hyphenate last word, but I don't have this one activated, it cannot break from here. You, we want to break this word, but this one will not break. So we have for this one to be activated, if it's the last one, we have this one to be checked. So again, if you have a full line here, if you don't like to have a hyphen here in the end, you can disactivate this one. And also if, uh, again, we don't like to have just one, two letters here, you can disactivate this one. In my case, if uh, when I studied um, this option page, it didn't work. So let's try. So when I, in the end of the page, let's uh, enter some letters to have. So in my case, it didn't work. I don't know, maybe it's a bug here. I accept hyphenation across page, but it's not hyphenating. Uh, let's see. Let's uh, use a longer word in the end. And now let's remove some here.
So in this case, something is it's a little bit strange. Accept hyphenation across last full line, column, page, but this one is not moving to the next page. I don't know why. I'm pressing a space again, again, again. It move on another row. It's not looking good. I don't know what is happening here. So this is what we have in this version, these options. So you can, uh, it's better to work with some of them of, of the rules, but not with the all of them. Because if, for example, I have here uh, nine, nine characters, it's very less likely to have such long words. So in this case, we will have no way of a word to be hyphenated. So no matter what we check here, this case will be very, very rare. So you have to be careful with what we choose because um, this way you will not get what you would, uh, wanted for the text. So again, this was all about uh, hyphenation. Uh, it's an improvement over the last version of LibreOffice. We have more options here. I hope this video was helpful. Uh, play with them until you obtain a nice looking project for uh, what you need. Okay, so play with these numbers, uh, check different options until your project looks good. Uh, thanks for watching and please subscribe for more video. Thank you.